Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. This is Ankush here from Alif Consulting. Welcome in our Azure case study. In this case study, we will be going to talk about how customers have leveraged Terraform and Azure to scale their gaming platform. Well, here is the agenda of uh, this case study. So we're going to understand about the customer. What is the success story for them? How they have run their containerization or containers on the AKS? How they have adopted the other uh, cloud services? How they are using the open source uh, for their uh, workloads? How they are managing their source controls? How they are using the HashiCorp tools for DevOps? How the solution design look like and how they have successfully launched their application? Right. So let's quickly jump into the inter introduction and understand about the customer. So in 2018, customer run its core uh, platform on premise and on the core location uh, facilities to achieve the scalability uh, needed for the company of its latest game. Customer customer will moved its core platform uh, to the Azure Kubernetes and the Azure SQL using the Kafka for messaging. HashiCorp uh, Terraform for deployment and GitHub for the source control. Source control. Since then, customers have adopted uh, several additional Azure services, open source solutions, and HashiCorp tools, giving the company a scalable DevOps environment that is benefiting both company, both the company central uh, centralized centralized backend services team and its portfolio of the gaming studio. So. Uh, customer have moved it all the applications uh, to the AKS. Uh, they also migrated the data store needed to support uh, those applications to the Azure. Azure SQL Managed Instance provided a simply uh, simple migration path from the older databases while using the Azure SQL database hyperscale tier. Give the customer uh, the scalability needed to handle the massive data load that a company will will eventually generate. Uh, initial uh, Gen 2 efforts also mark the company adoption of the uh, of Azure Container Registry, which store the container image before they get deployed into the Azure Kubernetes services. With Kubernetes services is beyond anything customer could have could have achieved before, and the way it's automated automates everything for us, like having a free ops team, adopting the other services. So customer while customer have used the AKS and Azure SQL services as a primary enable uh, enabler for supporting their uh, more concurrent gaming and right so they are not limited to this they have also adopt the other services they have adopt the ALT pipelines which they are using they used uh, to long running python script that run on the games uh, game server infrastructure for data collection right they are using the other python script that run on the scheduled jobs uh, would that uh, practically collect the data and transform it and load it into the data warehouse right so these kind of problem they are they, which, which they are uh, they are basically solving by using the uh, using the Azure Cloud services, right? Customers solved all of the, their problem by rebuilding the ELT pipeline using the Azure service. Today, the game servers send the HTTP message contain the uh, containing the file content to the Azure function, which store the data into the Azure blob storage. The function also send an event to the event hub, upon which another Azure function load the information into the data. So this is how they are they are not limiting with the Kubernetes or databases. They are using the other cloud native services to basically uh, build the further solution or using the other solution. Use of open source. So company is is using the Azure services. They have expanded or they are moved to the Azure services. However, they are using the open source as much as they can in Today's in the tradition, uh, tradition of Kafka, customer also using the Apache Zookeeper for configuration management. Uh, Lingard as a service mess, fast API to publish APIs written in the Python and Helm for deploy Helm for deployment of the containerized application into the Azure Kubernetes. Historically, customer used the perforce for all of its source control needed as to do most 
leading uh, game studio however since the company moved into the azure the backend service team have moved almost its code to the github the backend service team also use the github for things like change request change request for the other part of the business customer using it for pull request and the other uh, coordination task the helm chart uh, from our uh, Kubernetes environment also store into the GitHub, which we use, which customer use for the automated CI/CD process for each of their environment, and they run many environment for each game, so that a lot to manage into that area, bringing ability to stay hands off via automation has been a huge win for the customer. So it's not like that; they just have moved the source code here, so they have move the backend configuration they have moved the helm configuration to the github also hashicup to tools for the devops so alongside of using the azure open source or uh, github tool github customer is also using the uh, the hashicup tool tool which is a fourth major pillar of their company gen2 architecture Use of Hershey suit began alongside uh, the move to the Kubernetes when the company began using the uh, Terraform to describe the deployment of Azure Kubernetes cluster using the code store into the GitHub. Uh, Terraform lets customer codify what they want into a text file and then create the infrastructure from them. In a fully documented and repeatable manner with Terraform, they can uh, deploy Kubernetes cluster anytime or any other resources when they need and it was and it's set up correctly. Terraform is also provisioning the new infrastructure faster and easier. New ELT pipeline develop, uh, de uh, developed is a good example. Customer is also adopting the Hashiko Packer, which enables the creation of identical machine image for multiple platform for from a single source configuration. So this is how their solution look like. So you can see they were, they are having the the AKS, they are having the Helm, they are having the ACR. So the Helm is uh, basically the one which is pulling the request from the pulling the image from the ACR and putting into the AKS. They have the Terraform for CI/CD. They have a Python for orchestrations. They are using the console uh, here, uh, which is a, one of the Hershey tool, and they are using the Vault to store their credentials. So this is how they are running uh, their solution into the Azure for their gaming platform. Customer have released uh, the game into the two October 2020 20 across the Windows, Xbox, and PlayStation 4, and uh, did you know? Switch platform uh, with the Xbox Series XS, X and XS series following into the November 2020 and for the PlayStation they have released this in March 2021 and the game come out from the beta into May 2022. The company Gen2 architecture based on the Azure GitHub open source and the Hershey Cup suit, uh, suit uh, helps Pub the way of for the success of the company delivering the scalable need to support 50, 15 uh, millions players within the first two months followed by the millions more since then. With more with the DevOps environment customer now has in a place developer across the company are also more agile able to deliver new functionality faster and with the fewer distraction customer is looking forward as customer continue to delight gamers with the new experience company plan to continue relay on the technology partners that help it to get where they are today that's it so uh, this customer specifically is releasing a new gen uh, 2 infrastructure so this new gen uh, 2 infrastructure is uh, something they have completely hosted on the Azure. So where they have used the combination of Azure services, Kubernetes, SQL databases, plus open source, plus, plus Terraform, DevOps, HashiCorp tools, right? So those kind of things they have combined in a solution 
which allows them to do the scaling the way they want to it the, the scaling which they require to run their application the, the scaling they require which require to run their million uh, to, to basically get a request uh, to fulfill the request of the millions of uh, gamers which they are getting in right well that's it in this case study i hope you like this case study if you like please click on like and subscribe for more upcoming case studies and feel free to reach us if you have any questions thank you